see this these are the important point uh, which are based on the rank of a matrix i'll take each point and i'll i'll explain it here okay so this may be important for the theory kind of questions see the rank of a transpose of a matrix is same as that of the original matrix so they are saying that if you have a matrix a and if you find out the rank of it and let us say you found out the rank as r and if you take a transpose they are saying that even a transpose will also have the same rank like this if you say if you say a is a matrix okay and now uh, let us assume that a the rank of a is r which means there must be some sub matrix in this uh, which is of size r by r and whose determinant is not equal to 0 right since its determinant is not equal to 0 let's say the determinant is equal to k some number k okay and now what they are trying to say is even if you take a transpose it will also have the same rank why is that so because if you take a transpose then it will be the same matrix and inside a transpose also you will have the same sub matrix but then this sub matrix will be transposed which means this sub matrix let's call it b will now here be b transpose right and we already know that b and b transpose will have the same determinant right therefore it will be an r by r sub matrix which will be same so i think you are getting the point what i am trying to say is if inside a there is a sub matrix of size r by r whose determinant is not equal to 0 then inside a transpose also we get the same sub matrix just it will be transposed and since its determinant is not equal to 0 we are going to get it right since it is there it is going to be here now you might argue that what if a transpose has a bigger sub matrix and so its rank might be greater than r if there exists any bigger sub matrix in a transpose then that would have existed already in a which means the rank of a itself would have been greater than r which is not possible right therefore a and a transpose will have the same determinant right and next point is the rank of a matrix in which every element is unity is 1 which means if you form a matrix like this in which every element is unity i'm just forming a 3 by 3 matrix just for the sake of example i'm just forming 3 by 3 matrix so if every element is 1 then they are saying that the rank of such a matrix should be 1 how is that possible because if if this is the one then you find out the determinant of this 3 by 3 it will be 0 and determinant of every 2 by 2 matrix will also be 0 in this you take any sub matrix whose size is 